More than half of humanity lives in towns and cities, and this number is growing all the time. In 2012, one out of every three people living in cities in the developing world lives in a slum. UN Habitat projects that this number will rise to 1.4 billion slum dwellers by 2020, if nothing is done. People who stay here are poor, they can't afford to buy their own houses. And so we are all questioning this small area, this small community. Yeah, most of the houses are crowded. Like mine, I got uh, 10 family members in my house of only two bedrooms. Eh? Fiji is an island nation in the South Pacific Ocean. Urban growth in the country has accelerated over the past few years and towns have been developing beyond the control and authority of the government and urban planners. There are about uh, over 239 squatter settlements throughout Fiji and the population, uh, it constitutes about 15% of the national population. So that's a huge amount uh, that is uh, concentrated along the Suvanosori corridor. So basically, there is a need. In 2008, the Participatory Slum Upgrading Program, or PSUP, was launched. The program targets to improve the living conditions in towns and cities and positively contribute to Millennium Development Goal 7, Target 7D, to improve the lives of at least 100 million slum dwellers by the year 2020. Currently, there are 34 countries among the African, Caribbean and Pacific states participating in the program. It is an initiative of the ACP Secretariat, funded by the European Commission and implemented by UN Habitat. The aim of the program is to address slums in a, in a more strategic way, uh, addressing systemic issues so as to achieve scale and also to achieve impact on the ground and changing people's lives. It is dependent on the inclusion of as many actors as possible so as to, to tackle the slum problems from different angles. Uh, very importantly, it is action-oriented, practical, and it's rights-based. The PSUP has adopted a three-phase approach. Phase 1, urban profiling. Phase 2, action planning and program document formulation. And Phase 3, project program implementation. They've just finalized the, the topographical survey. Here, on Fiji's largest and most populated island of Viti Levu, this community has just embarked on the profiling phase of the program. We want to be able to hear from you what you think about your community, your issues, and how you think your community should be developed. We will collate all this information and put it together in a plan. I come from the island and I come to find education. So I live in the squatter now because I can afford to pay. I got a house there, but uh, I don't know whether it's in the line or will be approved. This man's contribution echoes that of thousands of other slum dwellers in Fiji and in informal settlements all over the world who are unable to make any long-term plans for their future. One of the main difficulties is the insecurity of land tenure. People in the squatter settlement, first thing, that they, if you see their houses, it's all temporary because they don't know when will the, the eviction come. Nandi is the third largest town in Fiji. Like other urban centers in the island country, the peri-urban areas surrounding the town are growing rapidly with unplanned squatter settlements. In Nandi, the urban profiling phase of the PSUP has been completed and action planning has begun. Are you connected to the sewage system? The sewage problem, because they don't have a proper sewage over here, people, they can't uh, do much because it's not a leased land. There is no drainage around here. Because of the drainage, I think the flood because takes place over here. We want help from NGOs or other people who can help us in making our house on higher post so that we can be safe during flood. Council also is looking forward into extending its boundaries in the future to include these settlements. 
But uh, before that, council will ensure that uh, the settlements are upgraded to council uh, acceptable standards. This will be the biggest challenge. The participatory slum upgrading program, working in partnership with all the stakeholders and the target groups, is well on its way to the implementation stage of this initiative. Rapidly growing cities in African, Caribbean and Pacific countries are now that one step closer to the ultimate goal of halving the number of slum dwellers by 2020. The long-term plans are to look at uh, upscaling and replication at scale so that we are able to address and to tackle the slum issues and, and, and problems in a more uh, systemic way and in a, in a more organized way so as to achieve our targets and to make a big difference in the living conditions of the people in slums.